Hi, welcome to Pathology Riddles. Today we will be dealing with the topic of neuroblastoma. So, neuroblastoma consists of word neuroblastic, which includes sympathetic ganglia and adrenal medulla. These are derived from primordial neural crest cells and it is the second most common solid malignancy of childhood after brain tumors. Coming to pathogenesis, 1 to 2 percent of the cases are familial. There is an autosomal dominant transmission. There is germline mutation in ALK gene, which is anaplastic lymphoma kinase. There are 8 to 10 percent of sporadic cases in which ALK mutation is seen. Coming to clinical features, in when the patient is less than 2 years of age, then it presents with abdominal mass, fever, weight loss. If the patient is more than 2 years of age, it may remain unnoticed, but uh, it can be seen because of metastasis. So, because of metastasis, there might be hepatomegaly, ascites and bone pain. Sometimes the disseminated neuroblastomas may manifest with multiple cutaneous metastases. These are deep blue discoloration of skin. It was called blueberry muffin baby. The roots of metastasis are through hematogenous and lymphatic systems and the sites for metastasis are liver, lung, bone and bone marrow. Uh, one more uh, aspect which can help in clinical diagnosis is that the fact that 90% of the neuroblastomas will be producing catecholamines. So there is elevated level of catecholamine in blood. Also the catecholamine metabolites are secreted in urine. Vinyl mandelic acid, BMA and homo vanillic acid, HVA are secreted in urine which can be detected to come to a diagnosis. So grossly when we cut, uh, we can see a soft grey tan brain like tissue. In larger lesions there might be necrosis, cystic softening and hemorrhage. Microscopically, it consists of small primitive appearing cells with dark nuclei, scanned cytoplasm and poorly defined cell borders. It will be growing in solid sheets. Now, the background will have a faintly eosinophilic fibrillary material also called neuropil. These are actually neuritic processes of primitive neuroblast. Also seen are homerite pseudorosettes. Uh, in this, the tumor cells are concentrically arranged around a central space filled with this neuropil. Uh, now, it is called a pseudorosette because there is an absence of actual lumen inside the rosette. Uh, we do immunohistochemistry and it is NSE positive, that is neuron specific enolase positive. Staging is done. Staging is dependent on whether uh, the tumor can be resected properly, completely and whether ipsilateral and contralateral lymph nodes are involved or not or, and whether uh, the mass is actually crossing the midline. So, stage one, uh, in stage 1, the whole mass can be completely resected without residual microscopic disease with or without residual microscopic disease and uh, the ipsilateral nodes and contralateral nodes are negative in stage 2a uh, the tumor is localized but cannot be resected completely then the ipsilateral uh, lymph nodes are negative in stage 2b the localized tumor can or cannot be excised completely. Uh, ipsilateral uh, lymph nodes are positive for tumor, whereas contralateral lymph nodes are negative for tumor. In stage 3, the tumor is unresectable and infiltrating across the midline with or without regional lymph node involvement. In stage 4, the primary tumor has distant metastasis either to distant lymph nodes bone, bone marrow, liver, skin or other organs. In stage 4S, uh, it is limited to infants younger than 1 year of age. There is localized primary tumor with dissemination limited to skin, liver, bone 
or bone marrow. On electron microscopy, we will see small membrane bound cytoplasmic catecholamine containing secretory granules. We can see favorable and unfavorable uh, prognostic factors. Now, favorable prognostic factors if the stage is initial stages, stage 1, 2a, 2b, 4s. Uh, unfavorable if the stages are stage 3 and 4. If the age of the patient is less than 18 months, it is a favorable prognosis, while if the age is more than 18 months, it is unfavorable prognosis. If there is evidence of uh, maturation, that is, uh, Schwannian stroma and gangliocytic differentiation is there, then it is a favorable prognosis. If it is absent, then it is an unfavorable prognosis. Mitosis to karyorexis index, if it is less than 200 per 5000 cells, then it is a favorable prognosis. If it is more than 200 per 5000 cells, it is an unfavorable prognosis. Now, DNA ploidy, if it is hyperdeployed, then it is a favorable prognosis. If it is near deployed, that is, there is segmental losses of chromosome, then there is unfavorable prognosis. Again, continuing, uh, MYCN, if it is not amplified, if there is no loss of chromosome 1P or 11Q, if TRK expression is present and TRKB expression is absent, as well as mutation of neurotogenesis genes is absent, then these are all favorable prognosis. That is all for today. Please do like, share and subscribe. Till we meet the next time, this is Dr. Bismuth signing out.